We're back. Yeah, I was surprised that fatality actually worked because um, normally it don't. Normally when you try to, you hold R2 when you press up to keep your character from jumping and like, in my experience, sometimes it doesn't work consistently. Again, there's probably a way to make it work. I probably just suck, but that's, you know, my experience. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think what I'm going to have to do is when I find out who it is, like who's the character, who's um, the character or the variation that I'm missing, I'm gonna have to like shit all over them, you know what I mean? Like they're gonna they're gonna be my new butt monkey. I'm gonna make fun of them every chance I get. Which one of y'all bastards hasn't won a match yet? Round one. Which one of y'all bastards has never done a fatality before? Because I really did like um. sucks because I really did, um, squander an opportunity to keep track of characters who've done and done it because, um, I wanted to get, unlock everyone's fatalities. Because, uh, what happens is, like, some of them are hidden, and you're supposed to find them in the crypt. Back, forward, back, back, okay. Sometimes they're hidden, and you're supposed to unlock them through the crypt and shit. But if you perform the fatality, like it doesn't tell you how to do it, but if you like look up online how to do it, and you perform it, it'll show up in the menu. I wanted to get all the fatalities, so I was playing on um, fatality Fancy tutorial wins. mode, fatality. and just doing the fatalities with every character. That way I could unlock all of them and just have all of them in front of us. But by doing that, what I ended up doing is... Alright, this, this is stupid. This is stupid because I'm a moron and I forgot what variation I just played. So let me see, I am currently possessed Kenshi. Okay, cool. And, um... Yeah. If I hadn't done that, I could've, you know, I could've known who I've... You know, I could, uh, kind of use that, uh... Like, Possessed is the one I just played, right? Yeah, I played Balance, but I can do it too. Okay, Possessed, yeah, I just played that one. Cool. So we'll do Mournful Katana. Kenshi. I think the Cove is a really cool level. I really like it. I, li I dig the aesthetic. I think it should become a. I think it should become a recurring stage. Like I think it's 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 worthy of that. It should be in every. Well, maybe not every Mortal Kombat game, but it should be a returning stage. You know. <laughs> Trying to do the back dash. Is that, is that what you're doing with that slam? Alright, let's see what I got here. Mid. Down. Forward. Back forward. Triangle. Perfect. Ah! <laughs> this fatality is just goofy to me because it's just like, why leave that? You could have left any other spots and said you're just gonna leave his scalpels and his fingerless hands. Like, why that? Is there a way to expand? Oh, there it is. Let's see. When XP 100, FP 100, time remaining. Total. No. Rewards, scroll details. Alright. Ah, oh, but it didn't show me all the objectives that are available. Hmm. I see one I'll make up for that. So that was the first katana. Uh, katana. Now we'll do the second katana. Turn your blade. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was such a great fighting game franchise. I really like the characters in the world they establish. Story mode for the new newer games are kind of lacking, Round but. One. Fight. Honestly, I think they're fine. They're serviceable enough. Are they as good as they could have been? No. Could they have been better? Definitely. But it was like, whatever, it's fine. Like, I wasn't, like, bored watching it. I didn't, like, not care. Like, I was still invested watching the story modes of, of, uh, the, of all the games. It was just, you know... Let's see, 
this is um, f forward, back, down, down. Let's try that one. Oh yeah, I did this one. Like cut her hands off. Like why? Mamma mia! I like the I like the sound design. I do like the like the gurgling effects and all that. But oh, that's so bad looking. That is so bad looking. But then again, it should be. They shouldn't be too realistic. Like I was hearing about a thing about designers on Mortal Kombat having like to look up real dead bodies and it messing with them and shit. I'm like, bro, you don't have to be that accurate. This is a stupid fighting game full of ninjas and forearm men. You know, no one's gonna be like, that's not how the human body works. Just 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 look at like a basic science textbook and that that's enough, you know, we know what muscles look like, we know what blood looks like, we know what muscles look like. That's all we need. No need to like Trouble yourself over it. <sighs> it's like I don't feel like looking up the special moves. I have way too many characters to play as. And thank you to my one viewer for watching. I do appreciate people coming in. I don't know. Helps me kind of stay in that creative, like, mindset. Stay in host mode, you know? Down, up, circle, R2. Let's try that. Oh, no. Oh, well, I tried. I totally spazzed on it. I admit that. Kitana wins. <sighs> See, you've been playing for about an hour now. I guess I'll just keep playing until I'm, uh... Oh, yeah, that's cool. I forgot I can choose the outfits. Just kind of just been going with the first. One thing that I think would be super cool. One problem with my idea is it would hide. Um, Scorpion. It would prevent there from being like secret outfits. But I think it'd be kind of cool if they told you like how many costumes you were missing. Like if you scroll down the outfits, there'd be ones that were just question marks. So you're like, oh shit, I still have to unlock two outfits for this because because like you know it's not consistent with every character. So knowing, like, where there are outfits to unlock and shit, it's the kind of thing you gotta look up online. And some of them are kind of like, I don't wanna say it's silly, but it's just kind of like a, oh, you're gonna give... Revenant Liu Kang has, like, two different costumes, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's see what we'll do to this guy. We're gonna do the... Down, back, forward, triangle. I mean, this kind of, um... Scorpion's kind of nice. Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. I wouldn't want it to be his canonical look, but, you know, it's kind of like a cool, like, metal variant, you know? Like, maybe some kind of armor he might wear, and... I freaking hate Scorpion's, like, Predator Scorpion. outfit. I, I hate that, that, that Predator variation with the, uh, the stupid thermal like that. If that's not Bandit Tournaments, it really should be. Like, God, that is so unsightly. Round I mean, one. it's one of those things where Fine. I'm like... I'm the kind of guy who does prefer more to less, like... I prefer having that costume compared to not having that costume, but... Um... I would have, honestly, I would have rather they had spent that time in that costume slot on some kind of better outfit than that one. That makes sense. You know, let me throw the spear. I gotta throw the spear at least once. Flame teleport, uh, flame... There we go. It's throwing the spear, that's what, that's what Scorpion's all about. Alright, so now I gotta do this one, which is... Oh, I'm not gonna press it. Uh, so it's mid, so it's down, back, forward, up. Perfect, first try. The R2 and everything. Oh. 
Scorpion wins. Fatality. Alright, tune in next time, babies. Bye.